Before we actually start the guess your rank, I do just want to say that I did mess up. I was supposed to do a bunch of them for the placements for the season, but I was so busy with so many other things because I think I had videos planned for like three weeks after the new season launch that I completely forgot about it. Yeah, like I had all I had so many videos planned uh, because a decent amount of things changed with the new season. So I was trying to focus on all that and I completely forgot about this. So that's my bad. But now we're going to do the guess your rank. Some of these are still placements because people were telling me in the text documents they included that they hadn't finished their placements yet. So there will still be some placements here. This match has ryfiguy.du as the person we're supposed to watch. And he wants us to watch round number six. Actually, wait, wait, I have to go back and watch that because I need to see how much they drone. If they have a setup drone, then we know that's at least gold. Silvers don't do that. We can uh, two times it though. So droning out, making sure what site they want. Seems like a... Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, they have a setup drone, but they are spawning on the other side of the map. I mean, to be fair, I'm Platinum, and I forget to change my spawn all the time, so... Maybe... Maybe Platinum. For the 510 bits from Coldster. Oh, they're AFK for a second. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Just a few missed melees. It's okay. Longer than I would expect to line that up. Oh. He just missed someone. The person crossed into the hallway. Oh. Oh. He just saw them. He just saw Mozzie. Okay, so they're being bandit tricked, which means that this, I'd say the highest this could be would be uh, gold. I don't think this could be platinum. Because a good team, or at least good rank team, will uh, never lose to a bandit tricker. He's been holding this angle for now like two minutes, or a minute and a half. Speed up a little. There's still someone roaming, so they're probably going to get flanked. Oh, okay, they're going for yellow wall. That's the roamer, I believe. Oh, it's a 5v2 already. Let's go. Okay, 4v2. He kills Ella. Good recoil control. Oh, good flick. 3v1. Hits another Grismont. Hold on. Where are the other two? Okay, one's flanking, one's... Oh, there. 15 seconds to kill three of them. Okay. Seven seconds, 1v1. No way he gets this off. No way he gets this off. Mozzie, what are you... Mozzie, no. Mozzie. No. Okay. I would say the highest that could be is gold. There's no way. I almost want to say, okay, remember last time we made a deal that I can do in between ranks. I can either do whole ranks, like gold one, two, or three, like all encompassing, or I can do um, like, oh, silver one to gold three. I want to say silver one to gold three. It could also just be silver. His aim was decent, like his aim wasn't bad. And honestly, like I've had teammates that stupid in platinum, so it could be gold. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say he's gold. 
I feel like the enemy team was silver, but I think he is gold. Let's go, he's gold. He actually was in plot two, but somehow dropped down to gold one. <laughs> he is in 784 in one day. He lost almost 800 elo. I just love decks, bro. He played for 14 hours. He lost 800 elo in one day. Okay, now that makes sense. Second match. This is Smiley Gretchen, who wants us to watch round number nine. So it's match point overtime. Smiley Gretchen is currently 10 and 5 versus a team that has one person going 1 and 8. And I will not say their name because if you say it backwards. Actually, you know what? Just for this match, I was supposed to move my webcam down. I forgot about that. Just for this match, we'll move that up a little bit. And then we'll move it all back down after. Um, as much as I love that word that's in their name it is against twitch or not twitch uh youtube terms of service can actually get a video demonetized so i will not be saying it for the for the recording i haven't really noticed anything worthy of pointing out at this point there's this drone oh it's in the bookshelf Risky spot to put themselves in, especially when the I round has already dicks. started. I know it's only 10 seconds in, but someone could be rushing. Thanks for sub. Smiley Gretchen, this is your match. Oh boy, okay. Well, uh, Vigil just killed Yang. And then Finca killed Vigil. Still nothing to note yet. The enemies haven't really pushed. Oh! Okay, headshot. I think the other three are all over here. I'm assuming we're gonna see a diffuser play with the blue team then rotating over to try to pick it up. Oh! Going into my favorite spot. It's called jungle. Oh, never mind. It's pushed out. Oh. I can see Finka's butt. Okay, okay. Playing a sound call there. They are getting spotted by a drone this entire time. So, that says a lot about the enemy team. They're all watching Blitz. Instead of watching this drone that could call out Mozzie, they're all watching Blitz. So that's going to put us lower in the ranks. Um, so far it's looking like between silver and gold. I don't think it's as low as bronze or copper. The enemy team is taking so long to push. And Blitz is at 1 HP. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what am I... <laughs> the Valkyrie just sprinting away and the Blitz not being able to do anything about it. Okay. Um, okay, Blitz is pushing up. They, they could call out right now. They could call out the Mozzie using the drone, but they're not going to. I assume Mozzie's going to swing here as soon as the Grismok goes off. Blitz's shield is going to be pushed back, and Mozzie's going to get the easy kill. Oh, he got Grismod too. Okay. Capital just doesn't react? Capital sprints at him? What was that? No. No. He dies! Who won that? Who won that? I'm assuming... Okay, so they traded, so that means that the defenders won. Oh my god, okay. Um... Smiley Gretchen is gold. But I think the rest of the lobby was silver, basically guessing the same thing as the last match.
bronze? <laughs> How's that bronze? The enemies played like bronzes. I don't think Smiley Gretchen played like a bronze. I should have guessed bronze after that. Capitao jumped over the railing into his own fire and died to the Aruni. Alright, I guess we are one out of two. Okay, so White Crayon, round number three. They are playing as Twitch. I just had a Twitch F2 video, so this is very fitting. And so far, droning-wise, they're not really doing a whole lot. They're down 0 to 2, by the way. So the window's just open? Okay. Weird. I don't know why you'd have a window open there and then not throw out a Valcam, at least. Maybe to spook them, I guess? I don't know. When the barbed wire goes outside, solid. Great game. I, I guess it's working, because like right now he's looking around being like, where's the Valcam? There has to be one outside. Okay, good utility clear. Brings the drone outside to save it. Smart. Oh. Does utility clear, and that was just gonna be a, oh, never mind. I thought they were gonna run in and brag out. That looked like, so four of them are on site. One's by bar. Oh no, three on site. One in cash, one in bar. Two in bar now. Apparently he can see that mozzie. Okay, okay, the double. Default cam is still up. Oh, patch is open. Thank you. Diffuser's going down, he's putting down a claim on the stairs. That's a very me thing to do. And then the castle tried to shock on him. Okay, so he did good utility clear, then he went for fragging. Um, he had a good setup drone to actually watch downstairs, which I was surprised by, because I called that I was being useless at the beginning, but it was actually a pretty solid drone that later came into play. You know what, I'll guess, I'll guess gold one to plat three. We're gonna do that. Oh wait, he doesn't have a rank this season. But he was plat three last season. So I am correct. His current elo is 2892, which I believe is gold two. Right? Yeah, he'd be in gold two. But last season he was a plat three. This one should be Itty B Chris wanting us to watch round number two. Okay, so far with drone, he has not even entered the building from what we saw. Yeah, no, he didn't. Oh, I went too far. Brings his drone back to spawn. Oh, that this being a 4 0 match and him barely droning, I'm already gonna say plat. But maybe the enemy team is just really, really bad. They reinforced off Garage, and they still have someone playing Garage. If this... Okay, I was gonna say, if this doesn't get eaten by a uh, ADS, then we know what or how bad the enemy team is. This, there's an ADS right, yeah. I was gonna say, his grenade got eaten by the close ADS. Jaeger's down. Vigil's already killed. ran past the enemy. Oh, he sees... Okay, alibi. Dead. This is the round he wanted me to watch? He must get the kill on Valkyrie or something. Okay. Not a whole lot to go off of, but we can use what the enemies were doing as a way to strengthen our gas. 
They reinforced off rotates. They were all kind of playing scattered. They didn't really have a proper setup to hold CCTV. Sledge was done with the grenades. He let them both get burned, even though uh, he didn't have to. Gold does seem like a solid rank. Could have been... I don't think it was silver. The aim with the pistol and like the confidence to do that. And overall aim looked better than silver. Uh, I hate to do it, chat. I'm gonna guess gold again. I'm sorry. It's not my fault that like 40% of the siege population is in gold. It's such a popular rank. I should have guessed platinum. Although, although, technically, if we're going off placements, he is in gold. But the most recent rank was platinum. And probably would get to platinum if they still played consistently, which they clearly don't. If I had gone for my initial gut of uh, platinum, it would be 3 for 4 We have Chessy01 who wants us to watch round number 2. Alright, they went Ella Scorpion, which clearly means that they have to be at least, or at, at the very highest, silver. I will not guess higher than silver for this rank. Because who runs Ella Scorpion? Everyone knows that Ella Shotgun is the play. Okay, reinforcing fountain. You don't normally see that in the higher ranks because they would rather use reinforcements for triple wall, I think. And yes, I am very excited for the battlefield beta. Like I said, I will probably be, I guess this goes for the YouTube people watching it as well. I believe I'm going to plan to stream at least eight hours the first day that the beta's out, and then maybe like 10 hours every day after that. Um, I'm going to be streaming it a lot, because it's only four days and I need to get as much content as possible. So I will be streaming it basically all day the four days it's out. So make sure to tune in to those streams if you want to see new Battlefield content. I'll also be uploading highlights onto YouTube. So you don't have to worry about missing out too much. But if you want raw, uncut Battlefield. Okay. Don't know if that was a headshot, but... Just... Okay, this is silver. 100% this is silver. First off, didn't even notice. Vertical grip on the Scorpion. And then the... Twitch just tried to shock the Ella. This has to be silver. You guys remember when Fountain used to have two soft walls here and you used to be able to play a mirror off that? So you could see them here and then swing on the open wall. It almost looks like he's walling just because he's like pre-firing where they're going, but I'm pretty sure it's just like he probably could see way more on his end. Here we're blocked by this giant piece of cork board. Okay. Twitch drone. Twitch drone came to destroy the mirror and missed two shocks, by the way. Two shocks. That's silver. Let's go! Told you guys, it was silver. No way that's above gold. Three out of five, correct. Big plays by me. And we have Diku Dot who wants us to watch round number six. Is this like a mating ritual? Oh, she's not interested. The male moves on. She pretends to be AFK as to not have an awkward encounter with the male after rejecting him. As soon as he walks away though, she leaves. The mating habits of a silver player. Oh, he, he now moves over to the alibi in an attempt to woo her, but she 
detects that there is danger nearby and is not in the mood for mating. She flees the scene while he tries to fight off the predator to look bold. However, Alibi, already gone, will no longer see if Mozzie successfully holds off the predators. Welcome to the Nature Channel. Cav. Dead. I bet right now Mozzie's saying, Cav, if you had stuck by me, you wouldn't be dead. I would have been able to protect you. Too late, though. Oh? But the alibi fends for herself. Mozzie's sitting right next to a drone. Don't know where he's going. I think he's lost. This is why he was looking for a mate, because he's just blocked up from head to toe, and he needs to unleash. It's just blocking his brain processes. He's just sitting in freezer for some reason. He lets uh, the alibi die. Which, actually, this could play out. If they go for hatch now, this is actually a smart play, because they're going to assume it's free. And then he can swing and kill whoever's in kitchen. Yep. Yep. Told you. The drone is still in the deep fryer. Yep. I, I ridiculed the play, but it actually was kind of smart because they weren't pushing there at all, so they were just going to walk into kitchen assuming it's free, and he's sitting in freezer. After being denied by two potential mates, he had to unleash. Their lack of a coordinated push and letting him just sit there and go unpunished after killing not one, not two, but three people before killing the Osa and not a single person really punished him. They didn't even land any shots, I don't think. Maybe Thatcher did. I would guess that they are on the lower end of gold. I think our teammate play or our the pe person we spectated played like a mid gold to high gold, whereas the enemies played like a low gold, so I'm going to guess gold. Fuck. This is the first time they have reached platinum. The very first time. Before this, gold. I should have guessed, I was thinking about doing like gold to plat just because they were using the Roni, and every content creator and their mother right now is complaining that the Roni is too overpowered, blah 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 blah. I was like, that means they're definitely a rank star being in platinum, but... I didn't go for it. Or match number seven, we have the coastline match where it's going to be Dark Reaper OG who wants us to watch round number four. When's the house channel coming out? Um, we're still in kind of no man's land, so it's a little bit rough. We we did the two tours and we've been struggling to find more. Um, when I come back from my vacation, I think we're going to go like full into like okay, we need to contact like these many people call them, email them, like, keep pursuing and hopefully finding something. And then once we get a consistent schedule of houses, like, where we have at least one a week, then we can start uploading. Until then, we can't really upload since it's going to be, uh, very inconsistent. So, we'll see. Okay, shield versus shield. Oh, I hate, this is, I hate Osa in match replay because the shield just makes noise consistently for like the next minute. Yeah, house tour channel will hopefully be starting. I would guess, my safe guess would be about January. I think in the new year it's gonna start. I don't think we're gonna be able to get a consistent enough schedule until new year. Frost is just... <laughs> okay, this is not higher than silver, I don't think. Bronze to silver right now is what I'm guessing. Okay, he stopped the shield spam. He's currently on site without the fuser, unfortunately. But if he had the fuser, he could literally plant here right now if he wanted to. No one can stop him. Oh, Cav's coming up with cool vibes. Will he notice her? Don't know what he's looking at right now. Oh, gets Warden. Okay, better aim now. I was going to say Cav needs to do something. 
Okay, so that's the round. Two kills. Um, I'll look at one thing before I make my guess. The Osa kills Warden. Instead of swinging, activate Silent Step first and then goes. Uh, I want to say Silver to Bronze, but I think Bronze is being a little too mean. The blue team had such a horrible sight presence. They had one person on sight. Four roamers. Or one by, like, Billiard slash Aqua. So two sight, three roamers. And the Osa walked into sight and no one challenged her. Like, she killed Frost and not a single person rotated coming back. Like, Frost should have been like, hey, they're on sight. I'm going to guess Bronze. Let's hope I'm right. Let's go. They were silver, but they dropped down to bronze. So, I am now four out of seven. I believe this last one is, yeah, quick match. We have Railgun 978, who wants us to watch round number four. So, oh, and they only just reinforced Garage, but again, we can't judge based off the enemies. We have to judge based off of him. I want to judge off them, though. They had a castle barricade set up on Connector. Wait, oh, is this secure area? Oh, it is. Okay, okay. Never mind. Okay. Secure area. This makes a lot more sense on their setup, then. Hmm. Pretty standard procedure. They're droning a lot, which is good. Low ranks don't normally drone that much. So we have some intel being gathered. I'm assuming relaying it to Blackbeard because Blackbeard is slowly starting to push up, which looks like reacting off of Railgun's calls. All five people on site, by the way. Just throwing that out there. All five. This is what uh, season one of Siege used to look like. Every single person on site. You would not have a single roamer. And I think once Pro League started up, people started getting used to roaming because they're like, oh, we should actually probably leave sight and kill people while they're pushing in. It's a lot of droning. Based off what, like how they're kind of positioning themselves here, I'm, I'm guessing silver right now. I don't think above silver. Like, where are they looking? What is what is their goal here? They're just looking at top floor. Wait, objective is top floor. What? Hold on, what? Oh, no, this is glitched. I was going to say, I saw the objective on the basement floor. I wonder... There's no way that this is what it looked like for them. There's no way it told them that objective was upstairs. Like, we know 100% it's down there, because, yeah, it's right here. So I, I assume it must be glitched on the replay. Using a thermite charge on wood floors instead of opening up this wall, which I believe has no mute jammers on it. Yeah. Okay, definitely silver vibes. Leaning the wrong way, too. That Frost has spent the entire round on the floor, just tasting the tiles. Okay, silver at the highest. Um, they communicated a lot though, that's not likely in a bronze player. I'm going to go with bronze. I went with my gut and it paid off. Let's go. I think they're on their way to a silver player. They just need to work on their aim and how they position themselves. But they were good at droning. They were good at, or half good at using their gadgets. They opened up garage, but then they opened up the floor with a the thermite charge and it didn't peak it. But, I mean, it did scatter them a bit, so I guess it kind of worked out. Okay, we are on to the second batch of matches. We have more unranked. Most of the other ones were ranked. We have to watch Sketch. Not 
ASY and wants us to watch round number two. I got the charm and now I'm a champion player. Highly recommended. I've been telling people for a while, I'm like, hey, if you get the Varsity Gaming Charm that's available throughout year six and free with Twitch Prime, you could become a champion level player, but they just, they don't believe me. And I get it, you know, people are skeptical these days, but it's just like a guaranteed path to success. And it's not even like I'm the only one claiming it and there's no one else out there. If you ask anybody in my community, all of them went up in ranks after they got the Varsity Gaming Charm. So, people need to <clears throat> hop on it. There's no excuse to not have the Varsity Gaming Charm in 2021. I got the Charm and joined Pro League? Exactly. Thanks, Bolo. That was definitely Bolo in chat, YouTube. Don't, don't go back to the VOD. You don't need to check. It was Bolo. Okay. A little preemptive on that pre-fire. He didn't even actually hit the glass. <clears throat> he didn't hit the window at all, because otherwise the glass would have broken. Does have the legendary skin for the SC3000. This is a weird approach for Zero to take when Sight is upstairs. Because pushing here is really bad since someone can shoot you from bar, from hallway, from upstairs, from staircase here. You wouldn't really want to do this type of push. You'd rather push library where the angles are limited. But I guess if the enemy is not even paying attention to you there, you might as well take advantage of it. I was judging... So when he pre-fired the window that he thought was going to be spawn peeking, his aim was horrible and he missed everything. Here, he just got a triple and flicked on two kids and destroyed them. Oh, and he managed to get the wall for his teammate. Okay. Platinum. Maybe gold. Depending on how he plays out the rest of the round. Oh. He, he kind of... It wasn't his fault. The lesion was shooting at the thermite, I believe. And then Zero kind of walked into it. No, not even. He wasn't even shooting it. He just actually shot, shot the zero. And then Thermite ran into the shot. Okay, maybe gold. Maybe gold. If I had a teammate who got kills like that, like his flick onto Castle was good, and then he flicked onto Vigil through the wall, that was good. I would be like, that's a platinum level player right there. I think he's plot. We're going to guess plot. Closes it. Hey, there we go. No. Oh, no. No! He's in gold. He was in plat. He was in plat with a less or lower KD, and now he's in gold with a higher KD. Ranked is unjust. But for this match, we have Bois. Bois. Bo, Boa. Who wants us to watch round number seven? Who, by the way, is currently three and six. So if they want us to watch this round, I feel like they're about to pop off. This is going to be a big round for them. Okay, realize their mistake. That's good. Adaptable. That's a gold trait. Weird, very weird place for an ADS. Although, actually, I guess... You, oh, okay, never mind. I'm going to put a mirror there. Let's say I guess it's not the worst because if someone throws a grenade in at the wall, it'll get it. And it can't be shot from the window. But most people just put it on the actual server rack, so that way it can get grenades on both sides, no matter what. Because you could throw a grenade in the far right corner by the window, and it wouldn't get absorbed by the ADS there. I need to sit with my back straight. Oh, okay, we need to rewind that. Blitz is just booking it towards him. Okay. One sec, actually, I need to confirm. Did the Blitz just not see him? No, he went for the melee on the window after seeing him. 
that's uh, some silver logic. There's two people outside garage door. Oh. They just uh, bukkakied on that guy. Air jab and then killed him as soon as he moved. This is a strange angle to hold. You usually want to hold it a bit farther back so you have a better angle on the stairs. But it worked. What is this gun skin? I like it. It's weird, but I like it. Okay, so two headshots so far. He's about to flank someone and he made so much noise that if this person doesn't hear him. How did the Ash not hear him? He was sprinting up. Oh, this is the Battle Pass skin. It has the uh, knife on the edge. Okay, quad. Pop off, boy. I, uh, I want to say the highest this rank could possibly be is gold. Maybe silver, given that uh, they've done some very questionable things like... The Ash didn't hear the Jaeger full sprinting behind. The Blitz tried to melee the uh, the window when Jaeger was standing right on it. What is this? He's still just sitting out here. Does he run out on him? Oh, I might already drop down. Okay, let's speed this up. Oh. Okay. Thermite is going for the wall. My man is going for the wall while it's still electrified. Okay, this has to be silver. Maybe just the enemy is silver. Silver, right? I need to check if this is unranked or ranked. I can't remember. If it's unranked, then we can't take the enemy too much into consideration. Because if it's unranked, he can play better than the enemy. I think they played like a gold. And the enemy team was probably like bronze or silver. I feel pretty confident with gold, but I'm almost second guessing myself. We're gonna go gold. We're committing to gold rank. Oh, okay, we're good. They are gold. I saw... Oh, wait, what? Oh no, that's their highest! No! They are in silver. What, what are these ranks? Bronze, gold, bronze, gold, silver? Like, they technically were gold for two seasons. They were also bronze for two seasons. So I, th I don't think I can go off that. If they were like gold consistently for 10 seasons and then they were silver, I would give it to myself. Because, you know, that's just an unlucky de-ranking when their average is gold. But this is... Their average is silver, technically. Two bronze, two gold. So we are five <coughs> out of ten. Our turn farmer. ZS. You guys remember when house was unranked? You guys remember when plane was unranked? Those were the days. Make some stamp... Chat, what is the number one rule on house? What do you never do? You never reinforce kids' room. Now he's reinforcing it. This is definitely copper. They reinforced kids' room. One of the kids' rooms. Curious to see what's going to happen in this quick match round that was worthy of submitting it. Someone's bottom of the stairs. They just barely missed them. They actually saw their arm for a little bit, but that might have been 
match replay blessing us when on their end it might have looked a little bit different. Oh, oh, oh. He sees the toes. Any toe lickers in chat? As soon as you see the toes. Oh, Ross is getting pinged by Lion. Okay, I can kind of understand the concept of like what he's trying to go for here with this setup. So you can watch Kid's Room from that angle. But he keeps going back to this one hole. Oh, oh. Walks away. Okay, he played that well, the audio. He played the, he played the audio super well, even though I think this hole might have messed up the audio for him, so. Good on him for uh, sounding that out properly. This one hole, man. It's his best friend. Okay. I think we can say silver. I think silver is a pretty solid rank for this person. Turn farmer on ZS. I could also maybe see them being in bronze because of how passively they played. But I'm going to guess silver. They have no ranks. They have never been ranked. What do we do here, chat? Because technically they're in silver rank. They are. They're at 2209, 23, 30, 2376. They're technically silver. Chat says to count it. Someone says casual rank. You can't do casual ranks because they, they definitely were not a platinum player, but in casual, they're platinum. I, I guess we'll give it to ourselves. Bringing us to six out of 11. Coffee, Dodo. Yes. Wants us to watch round number five. Okay, so. They have one roamer, four on site. The one roamer is going to try to spawn peek the, the museum or whatever you call it, door. Or 20 seconds into the round, he's still on drone. Has a Dark Zero skin. The one that was controversial. Is that a pulse? Who runs out as a pulse, man? That is like, first off, waste of utility. Have pulse on site to scan people. Second off, the UMP? You want to run out with the UMP? I mean, it's working. He had just downed someone. So I think that speaks more volumes to how bad this guy's team is. How bad Coffee's team is. Because the ace just saw our teammate got downed and then just walked up like nothing happened. Oof, not a single shot on the, uh, Malusi. They air jab this. They could knock two people over. Oh, but instead they're gonna rotate around, which actually might be a good call, because if everyone's going that way, you split up and you take them from behind. It's now a 1v4, because Ace is about to bleed out. A 1v4 against a Clash. I would assume they're just going to get destroyed here. Oh, but the Aruni swings instead of letting the Clash go first. This is a 5 stack, by the way, so not they can't even use the excuse that they are uncoordinated or anything. Oh. oh my god. Did not hear the air jab, I guess. They still have two air jabs. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. Platinum. I feel pretty good saying platinum. Played that as well as they could. They were patient. They could have shot at the Aruni when they only saw the elbow, but they played it patiently. They're like, okay, I'm on site. Like, I can 
probably pick someone else off. Play the enemy team played it horribly. But I think he played that like a platinum player. Platinum. Yep. How is their personal record gold, but they've been platinum? I, I don't was gold higher rank back then? I don't remember. And we have Oak God who wants us to watch round number one. Okay, this guy is doing 360 one taps on nothing. This is easily the at least diamond three. At least. 360 flicks. Oh, and he just shot at his teammate. Diamond two, I'm gonna say. Diamond two. I also just noticed the bands. Um Cap can is banned alongside Caviera. You know what? Um, I'm gonna retract my diamond two guess and maybe go with silver or gold. Doesn't reinforce the wall. They wanted us to watch this round. I don't, I, so far, I don't see anything like crazy impression or impression, impressive. Okay, well, it's, I guess it's gonna be a one v three. So we'll see how he plays it out, and if, uh, if they do well, then maybe they are, you know, gold font. If the ash were to rotate over to barrel, they could open up the wall to save for free. Alright, 1v3 at the pistol only, and I'll guess platinum. He takes out the scorpion, automatically goes down to gold. Maybe even gold with the pistol. Maybe even silver. They only have two or one and a half more magazines after this one. They've wasted all their ammo just spraying through walls, and the Cappy Tau just flamed the wall. Big oof. They're wasting all their ammo. In, in this Ella's defense, I have played with a lot of Platinum players who lose all their ammo because they just shoot non-stop the entire round. Like, at, in the last two seasons, I've had at least, like, four instances of Twitches on my team who are just pre-firing every door, and they run out of ammo before they even see anyone. It's not that uncommon. Also, the I will say, when they killed the Capital there, the Capital was literally just staring at them. Was that a controller spin? Their aim was really bad. And they just kept spraying out a wall trying to break it, but from so far away. Like a gold at that point I think should know how destructibility works. Or destruction works. <sighs> My gut says gold, but I'm going to say silver. <sighs> They're bronze, but they were silver. They just lost like five matches in a row. God damn it. One of the things I would maybe change in the future for my uh, my rules would be I'd go off their average ELO as opposed to their absolutely most recent ELO, but uh, we'll see about that. For now, this is... Oh, I got it wrong, so we are now at 7 out of 13, so we got 3 more to go. We're still above 50%, which is okay. So in this match, we have Among Us Gaming, who wants us to watch round number 7. Pretty sure people who play Siege and low rank probably have more fun in the game. Patrick, why do you think I always ask or want to be in gold? It's more fun. Platinum is not fun at all. The the people who haven't reached platinum like to believe it's more fun. They constantly tell themselves, like, I want to be platinum one day because it'd be so much fun to compete at that level. It's just not. It's not fun. Gold or diamond is even worse. I can't even imagine how horrible champion would be. 
It's like, you're not having fun anymore. You're just sweating your balls off every match, which, if that's fun for you, you know, all the power to you, but if you ever just want to chill and have fun or just relax, you can't do that. They don't even have a hard breacher. I guess they have zero's hard breach gadget, but... I mean, points to this guy for immediately going to help get the wall open. Loses a little bit of points because he didn't realize they didn't have a hard breacher. But maybe if they're queued with the... Never mind. I was going to say if they're with the zero, maybe they know that they have a hard breach gadget. So two people on site, one down, one running out. Instead of uh, getting off drone and shooting them, they uh, made the call out from their drone. Okay, it's a 2v4, one is only at 20 HP. Man, they really are uh, a support player. This is the correct round, right? Yeah, round number seven. All right, 1v4. We've been here before. The very first match was uh, the Cali 1v5, or Ace at least. Okay, first one. Easy. Light work. Legion doesn't hit anything. Cali is now at 10 HP. They even walk into the goo. <laughs> what was that? No. If this is a ranked match, this is bronze at the highest. Maybe silver. The Legion just sort of tried to shoot through the shield. <laughs> but I didn't notice if this was ranked or unranked. Oh my god. Does Legion push this? There's still Frost, Matt. Oh, right, there's no rotate. Other than this one. Bro, what is this guy doing? If he was my teammate, I would be fuming. Oh my god, um, the shield wasn't there. That was a match replay bug. The 1v4. Legion tries to shoot through an Osa shield. If this is ranked, this is bronze at the highest. I'm gonna say bronze. Gold? Gold. Not, you know, not saying this guy isn't gold worthy. Like, he did pretty well in the 1v4 and got the clutch but that means that the legion that just tried to shoot him through the osa shield is gold as well so what is that 7 out of 14 now we're at 50 percent that lab 08 who wants us to watch round number five they're in split sight and the frost came across the map to put down a frost map at that window Got pinged, by the way, and left the frost mat there. I don't know who made that hole, <clears throat> but I guess that's a pretty good spot because it'll make the... Never mind, I was going to say it'll make the attacking team worried about pushing in, but they just do not care. No. Oh, my... How close was he? Look at how close he was. One more step to the right, and he would have been... Stuck in the frost map that he called out. All five on site. We're not gonna go for a breach or anything. Callie's down. So comfortable. Uh, I will. Talk about the oof merch in a second. He just saw the mozzie. He got a okay kill on Jaeger. Oh, Blitz didn't commit to plant. Wasn't he like half a second? 
Okay, good, good rotate around or turn around. How close was the blitz to the plant? Two seconds off. I think he could have stuck that. Instead, he got off to try to kill. Hmm. The mute didn't even kill anyone. Oh, yeah, instead the blitz pushes in for the kill. Oh my god. He actually about to ace this? The enemy team is not great. And they're stacking up. If the alibi were to go through master, they could easily get the kill here, but they're zero and four, so... Chances are, yeah, they're just gonna rush right into them. Uh, the enemy team was really bad there, which makes me think this is a placement match, which would mean anywhere between silver to gold. I feel like they had good, like the person we were watching had good coordination and good, somewhat good recoil control. I'm gonna guess gold. They average gold, but they are silver. God damn it. Okay, we are now 7 out of 15. I absolutely have to get this next match right, or I'm under 50% correct. Also, uh, thank you for the five months from You Love Guap. Love your new shirt, so comfortable. The, uh, the OOF merch is amazing, and I think everyone should pick it up because it is probably like the best merch we've released. Like, I have released, rather. Um, I'm part of it. I have other merch that I used to chill a lot, but not so much anymore. Uh, we used the Windbreaker all day today while we were at the Farmer's Market. So nice. And I look so fashionable walking around. Highly recommend picking up the Oof merch before it's completely sold out. I know the shirt is sold out, I think, in s small and then large sizes. And then Windbreaker is sold out in large sizes and... I think medium? But okay. Anyways, we are watching Eel and Sodium Man, and they want us to watch round number seven, which we're on. We're doing some smart droning, taking it back to save it. They're running the, uh... What skin is that? The year five battle pass? Or season pass skin? Or is it year four? Either way, they've been playing Siege for at least a year. Maybe two years. It's a year five one? Yeah. So, a year minimum. Also, am I the only person who absolutely hates the new courtyard on Coastline? I hate the roof thing that just blocks like 95% of your vision. And like, I get it, you know, they don't want people camping on roof the entire time and just waiting for picks, but it's so annoying that you can't hold anything. Like, this is the most you can hold. It's barely anything. They went for the nade there. There's three people by the couch. And he's still just checking the bar. He's 10 and 4, by the way. He's doing really well. Granted, three people on his team are doing horrible, but. Still doing very well for himself. Reminds me a lot of my Hibana match, which. On the day of recording this, comes out tomorrow, but the day that this will be released comes out, or came out yesterday. Just got a grenade kill on the dock through the vent. I just got knocked outside. Oh! Barely picked that off. That was a very close call. Still one person by couch, which they haven't seen. You can see her right here, sticking out from behind the couch. Oh god, this stresses me out playing behind the Monty. The... What was Alibi doing? Did they think they had downed the sledge? Yeah, 100% they thought they downed the sledge. They just sprinted right at Monty. They landed two shots and they're like, yep, yeah, I downed him. Just ran after him. I think they, uh... 
Did he shoot the C4? Oh, it wasn't C4. I'm dumb. They don't even have C4. That was the debris from the wood. It looked like it, someone threw a C4. He just saw Cav. Monty called it out. Let's go. Now Monty's pinging where the Aruni is. He's on a quad right now. Like, something like this I don't mind as a teammate. Even if they're 1 and 6, but they go Monty and they just relay all the information they could. Perfect teammate. He wants the ace, I can tell. He's like, wants to push in, but doesn't want to throw the round. Monty's just staying there as a... an immovable object. Reaction time on that was good. Uh, it gets an ace to send them to match point overtime where I think they win. And this is ranked, if I'm not mistaken. This has to be at least gold. I'm gonna guess gold. I think his name was Eel and Sodium Man, right? Yes. Alright, we're going with gold, please. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> they're normally gold. They were gold, but right now they're in silver. Oh my god. Every single rank they have had, they have always been gold. And <laughs> they are in silver now. Oh my god. <sighs> Do I change the rules to just be the average of their last few ranks? I think I'm going to have to, because this is getting ridiculously hard. Because half the things I'm incorrect about are because they're currently lower ranked than they normally are. Uh, we'll leave it up to YouTube comments to decide. But that's it for the... Uh... The guess your rank, 7 out of 16 correct. That was a, a good guess your rank. I don't know when the next one will be, because I'm trying to make these somewhat more... Not rare, but like, once in a while type thing. So people don't get bored of them.